Welcome to the Kingdom Come broadcast. Thank you. 
certainly thank you right now for this morning yes that lord. you have given us oh lord to come to your house oh lord yes lord so you let us know that the ground that we're standing on is indeed holy ground yes we pray oh god that you will bless this ministry oh lord bible vision uh ministry lord in the name of jesus hallelujah bless those who will see and tune in by way of the web and those who will be here in person we thank you, Lord, for the speaker and the pastor of this great church. Hallelujah. That you will just bless her, Lord, and that we will have a word that is due for us even in season. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise uh, God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It is my privilege and my honor to uh, praise God to have, have had pastor in the in the building. Praise God. Bishop in the building. And uh, it is so, so thankful. So we're going to praise God, give a little bit more uh, praise and worship. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to come from a scripture, praise God. And I'll be, uh, praise God, coming from, praise God, <clears throat> just a morning scripture here from Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we're going to be, praise God, listening to a little bit more of, uh, of, of the radio here. And, and we're going to praise the Lord a little bit more here. <laughs> Oh, 
to be tempted by the devil. You know, sometimes we are led into the situations that we're in. We're thinking that, you know, it's all the devil, but God led him mm -hmm. into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So sometimes we get trials and tribulations. They don't just happen because the devil decided he wanted to attack us. But sometimes we go through because God wants us to go through whatever it is that we're going through. So we can be made strong. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and begin reading. Praise God. Um, I'm going to ask that uh, Bishop Rogers uh, begin to read for us. Praise God. Okay. <clears throat> then Jesus led of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Yes. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. Yes, he was after it and hungry. When 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 Jesus was led up into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, he was he was he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. God led him on that fast. And after 40 days and 40 nights, he afterward was hungry. Praise God. Go ahead. And the tempter came to him and said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Praise God. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. All right, hold on, hold on there. So the tempter came to him and said something. You know, the devil's always talking to us, isn't he? All the time, praise God. He's always talking to us, praise God. He's always got something to say, praise God. It's always a challenge for us as, mm -hmm. as children of God when he comes. It's always something he's telling us to do, telling us we can do without, praise God. But this time he was talking to the to, to Jesus himself. He, the tempter came and said, if thou be the son of God, right. command these stones to be made bread. And Jesus answered, he said unto him, it is written, let's look at that. He took him straight to the word of God, praise God. Mm -hmm. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Praise God. Last night, praise God, I had a prophet to come forth through the building, praise God. And he had a lot of negative things to say as he entered in here, praise mm -hmm. God. And, uh, and I said to myself, Lord, I said, uh, this is not, I know this is not coming from you. He said when he stepped his foot on the ground, it felt something negative on the ground. I said, what? I said, uh, I've been praying and I've been fasting <laughs> this week and how in the world you, 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 you feel something negative when you walk on the ground? But he said, nevertheless, he felt something negative and he was saying that, you know, that the neighbors around me had been work, working witchcraft on this, it, you know, like they had marked territory. Mm -hmm. I said, what? Mm -hmm. I said, well, if anybody's doing that, I'm not afraid and I'm not scared. And then I, I, I took him to the word and I said, no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. See, I gave him the words. That's right. Praise God. Just mm -hmm. like Jesus did when he was tempted. That's right. That's praise right. God. Praise God. So today, I want you to know that when the devil comes, praise God, he can come all kinds of ways. He can come through people. He can come through people in the church. Praise God. He can come through people on the job. You know, he can come through the situation. He can come through kinfolk. But you need to make sure that you know the word of God and be able to hand it to them when they come. Whatever thought and idea that's coming through your mind, the word of God is the answer for every disaster. That's true. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So Jesus knew what to do. Him being God in the flesh, he knew that the devil hadn't come for nothing good. Mm -hmm. And he was only tempting him because he was on the fast and he was hungry. The devil knew he was hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. And that's why he said, command these stones to be made bread. Mm -hmm. He knew what situation he was in, praise God, and therefore he spoke the word. And as, as he spoke the word, the devil taketh him up. He won't done yet. He, he went on up. Let me go ahead and let uh, uh, Bishop read. Uh, verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city. Yes. And set him on the pinnacle of the temple. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, 
he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. What did Jesus say? And Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. It is written again, All right. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he took him straight back to the word. Now, now this time, the devil taketh him up to the holy city and, and sitteth him on the temple. You see, like I said, sometimes the, the, the devil don't meet us, praise God, out here in the world. Sometimes he comes straight through the church. Mm -hmm. He comes straight through the church and uh, he asked, you know, he asked, he said, uh, uh, the devil taketh him up to a holy city, to a place that was sacred. And set at him on the pen, the tunnel of the, of the, the so set him up real high, mm -hmm. and uh, the, he said that thou be the son of God. See now he's questioning who he is. Mm -hmm. He's questioning who Jesus is. If thou be, just like he says to, to us sometimes, you're not saved. Mm -hmm. You don't know the Lord. You ain't got nothing to do with God. Your, your motive, you know, your motive is wrong. You know why you, you you're not you're not living for God. But if you if you want to, if, if you're so holy and so righteous, why don't you go to the hospital and heal up all the people? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that this is what the devil says to people. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that they're just tempting the Lord, mm -hmm. tempting the Lord God. And he took him straight to the scripture again and said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. But that's what the devil comes to do: kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said he came that we might have life. And have it more abundantly. Okay, I'm gonna let him read verse eight here. Again. And and said unto him, I have the wrong one. Okay. Again, the devil taketh him into an exceedingly high mountain, even higher, okay. and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world mm. and the glory of them. Mm. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee. If thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. Mm -hmm. For it is written, yeah. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. All right, praise God. Thank you so much, uh, Bishop. So, again, the devil taking him, see, the devil knows, sometimes he wants to. The devil takes him to a higher mountain this time. He, he took him to a high mountain before, but this time it was even higher. Took him to the temple of Christ first. Now he's taking him to an exceeded high mountain, and he's promising him all the things of the world. You know, how many times has the devil asked us to, uh, you know, for, told us if we did this, and we would have this and that and the other. We would have riches and abundantly if we did this and that. If we just take down and, and give in and compromise mm -hmm. and do what <laughs> do what uh, uh, the devil would have us do, then we could get all of this if we did that. You know, if you stop telling the truth so much, you might have a congregation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you if you if you if it was nice about it and you didn't tell the truth like you do, but praise God, I thank God because Jesus didn't take down. Praise God, He. He didn't, he didn't mind. He didn't mind the devil telling him that. But one thing he did say, it is written. Mm -hmm. Again, he took him to the scripture. And that's what we got to do. If this don't show us nothing else today, but we need to come back with the word of God. Each time the devil comes, right. we need to come back with the written mm -hmm. word, yeah, of word of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, the devil wanted Jesus to take down. And he has something to offer. And the devil in the world today, he, he, he got some offers too all the time. Well, you know, if you would uh, bow mm -hmm. down and worship me, mm -hmm. praise God, if, if you would, you know, uh, uh, you know, you, you would go back to doing this and that and the other, you know, you might have more friends. You might, you might have more money if you, you know, took this job and, and that job and you lied, when, you know, on the job like they want you to do. You know, you might get a little, you might get paid more. People might like you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus still did not take down. Mm -hmm. You know, the, Satan said, it is written. I, shall, I mean, uh, uh, hence, he said, get thee hence. First of all, he rebuked him. That's right. He had to rebuke the devil that's this right. time. That's right. Because and sometimes that's what we got to do. We got to rebuke the enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, sometimes the enemy needs to be rebuked. It's not enough just to give him the word. 
Praise God. Mm -hmm. But as you notice, this time, the devil leadeth him, and behold, angels came to minister to him. So he told him to get away from him. Mm -hmm. Get away from me. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I thank God today because we are to worship the Lord only, not to take anything in the place of God. Nothing is more important than Christ. You know, uh, the word of God says, uh, you know, we can take this whole world, but give me Jesus. Everything in it, everything that we could possibly do, the pride of life, everything that we could possibly want, but and still not have Jesus. We would gain the whole world and lose our soul. What good is it? That's right. You know, our soul is eternal. You can't take nothing for your soul. That's right. And so Jesus is telling us today that if we can just humble ourselves and worship the Lord. See, that's the weapon. Worship is a weapon and the word of God is a weapon. This is spiritual warfare here. Mm -hmm. The spiritual warfare that Jesus came across with, listen, all through fasting, mm -hmm. the word of God, and he also worshiped. That's so right. all three of those were included in this passage, even though we don't really look at it and see it. It's there. Worship, right. fasting, and, uh, 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 um, and the word of God. Those three are what it's going to take to defeat the enemy. And I pray, praise and worship. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So without those three things, we can't defeat the enemy. Amen. He even rebuked the enemy. Praise God. Mm -hmm. See, he said the devil leaded him, and angels came forth at that time, behold, and they ministered to him. Amen. Praise God. And so that's what will happen after we go through our test. But sometimes, like I said, it seems like it's a rough road. Mm -hmm. And the devil makes sure that he uh, makes it his business to make it hard for us. That's right. You know, to go down that road. That's true. But Jesus, or oh God, knows mm -hmm. each step that we have to pay, uh, face. Uh, uh, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and That's he right. delighted That's in right. his way. But every time you look around, the enemy is going to try to come. That's He's not going to stop coming until you rebuke him, like That's Jesus right. did. That's right. Once That's he right. rebuked him, he got gone. That's right. He had to go. He had to go. Mm -hmm. So I thank God because it took the power of God. Now, how did Jesus have this authority? It wasn't just through the word, but it came through fasting and prayer. And in one scripture, it said, These times go if not out except for fasting and prayer. And so sometimes we got to turn our plate down and go before God in order for the devil to actually leave. Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, it's not just taking the word, but it's sometimes we got to go without that food. You know, we got to go without that. Sometimes we got to go without food and water. And sometimes just without food, praise God, in order to get the enemy off the trail. Praise God. Because he looks ahead and I believe he can see what's in our future. Mm -hmm. You know, see what we're trying to get to. And he's trying to block it every which way he can. But I tell you, the word of God is not even in our mouth. We have to continue to speak the word of God, and so that the Lord will continue to move the enemy out of our path. That's right. And so I thank the Lord because if, if we don't, if we don't do these things, we can't make it from one day to the next. The enemy is on our trail. The world that we live in is is horrible. It's a horrible world that we live in. There are people, there are negative things that are going on all around us, and we have a job to do. We have to, like I was talking about last night, we have to learn to edify each other because if we go to the world, mm -hmm. the world don't have nothing for us. Oh, that's right. That's true. We need to encourage each other in the Lord. In the Lord, that's right. And as we encourage each other in the Lord, it won't make the blows of the enemy so easy. We'll be able to distinguish the enemy. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, the, the, the minister that came last night, I was very um, disheartened. I was very, very sad about what I had to hear from him. And I said, didn't you come for anything else? I mean, can't you think of anything nice to say? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, the Lord is good and his mercy is doing. And I, I, I prayed for the minister last night. I asked the Lord to bless him, That's you know, and, and, and take care of him, praise God. But I thank God. I thank the Lord because it was like a temptation. Mm -hmm. To me, to have to, you know, I thank God that I'm still saved. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. I thank the Lord for just everything today. Praise God. That's all That's all the thought that we're going to give today. But I ask that you, you uh, as, as let's just gather, praise God, in prayer today. Praise God. And ask the Lord to, to bless 
this place and mm-hmm. praise God. I'll let uh, Bishop anoint this place and, and, and praise God. Not anoint it, but, but pray over this place and ask the Lord to bless it and touch it. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you right now. Yes. And frustrate every assignment of Satan now. Yes. Come against this work in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your word that came to us on today. Yes. And Lord, we ask that we would be willing to apply that word in Jesus' name yes. to our lives. Bless those, O oh Lord, who will uh, view this, O oh Lord, and even as it's uh, played and replayed, let it touch the hearts and lives of your people. Yes. We recognize that we all are going through different temptations and different yes. things, O oh God. And we ask, O oh God, that you would go with us, O oh Lord, and help us to be willing to apply your word yes. to our situation and our circumstance. Hallelujah. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Praise God. Well, we thank God for you and you, and thank God for tuning in. Remember that the power of the kingdom of God is in you.